This is our uh, first sunrise uh, location in Salinia. It's the uh, iconic shot of the little church straight out on the little island um, with Blair over in the background. The castle is up there on the left where we were last night. Um, and you can see, I'll try and show you what we've shot. Um, but basically there's a couple of angles you can do, but uh, I'm not sure about my video skills, but basically uh, if I go back a little bit, you can probably see that that's getting nice and tight on that church, gives you one option. Um, but as I say, beautiful conditions, you can see the reflection, we've just got really, really lucky with this weather again. Um, there is no snow, but I mean if there isn't. At least there's no rain and to get a reflection like this at bled in the morning the sky's going to color up a little bit it is um yeah we are very very lucky so good start to uh, the first morning here in slovenia Wonderful morning here. We've just had the sky color up. We've got uh, beautiful reflections as you can see. The sun actually just lit up the church and the little castle at the back, so we've had a cool time. The um, guys are all sort of spread out here. We've moved now sort of round the lake a little bit more because you get a better view um, and a bit more um, uh, mountains behind with the snow on them, which is sort of what we're after. So really really beautiful start to this day we're uh, hanging around here for about another half hour and then uh, back to the hotel a bit of breakfast and then we're going to get on the road today and do a, a fair bit of travel um, just to get everyone in the swing of things and um, try and experience a bit of uh, Slovenia at its best with any luck uh, head up into the mountains I think we might even head over into Austria today but uh, keep you updated later Cheers. Doing a bit of a hike at the moment. Normally this is uh, totally coated in snow. 
almost well, a bit hard to get into but because we're here now no snow the, the walking's a little bit easier today it's really beautiful above me on a tiny little bridge you've got to see me come in on it's uh, absolutely beautiful here the water is it's clear aqua there's moss all over the walls uh, just incredible power coming down here it's bigger than it probably looks on film uh, 15 20 minute walk in and we're uh, standing in the middle of this absolute paradise so I'll um, show you where I'm actually standing massive cliffs actually about uh, 60 70 meters high uh, beautiful, beautiful spot though. Natural, caved uh, archways with the waterfall running through. I'll show you now. So that's it there. And as you can see, these incredible cliffs go all the way up. Way, 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 way up. And we've sort of snuck in down underneath. There's actually, uh, sorry about my camera work here. There's actually a bridge right above me. A uh, little tiny bridge, so that's where we came in. We scooped down here. You can see this incredibly beautiful little walkway. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful waterfall. Back up into the main area. And there you have it. Another special find in Slovenia. I'll show you the walk out in a minute. Just walking back out now. Um, had a great afternoon shooting that waterfall. Um, Travelling down, we had some lunch in a little town called Bovik, uh, which is in uh, summer, packed with tourists, absolutely packed. Uh, they do parachuting, whitewater rafting, all sorts of stuff. So this is uh, about half an hour out of Bovic and it's uh, absolutely beautiful, amazing place. So we're walking back now, the sun's already set starting to get a little dark so we're gonna get back to the cars and uh, about an hour and a half drive back to Bled so but all in all a pretty cool day we've been uh, ducked over into Italy quickly back into Slovenia into Italy again back to Slovenia as we wound up uh, through the Alps and it was absolutely beautiful uh, we got a really good view of um, a couple of the highest peaks in Slovenia and it was um, Incredible. I think everyone had a really good day. So yeah, just back to the cars now and Yeah, hour and a half drive. So Got to uh, get ready for that one and then we've got a good dinner and then a really early start Tomorrow up to a place called St. Thomas. So uh, Looking forward to tomorrow morning probably leave about five. So uh, Got to get some sleep tonight finish judging the Australian, uh, Australian Geographic Awards and um I'm sort of halfway through that, maybe not halfway, but close. Uh, so yeah, probably a full night of doing that, and then uh, not much sleep up early and at it again. But uh, day one in Slovenia has been uh, extraordinary. Really, really good day, great conditions, and couldn't be happier. I'll uh, be in touch tomorrow. Cheers. So I was just talking to our, da our guide Dan on the way back, and um, I saw some holes in the side of the hill, and he says that uh, there's still trenches and tunnels from the Second World War. A lot of the uh, the First World War actually, so a lot of the fiercest battles uh, up in these took place up in these mountains, and um, they managed to push the Italians uh, back out of this area. So it's actually quite incredible. I'm going to take you right now down through an old trench, uh, which is just extraordinary that you can actually still walk down through here. But uh, hopefully it's not too dark. But we'll uh, we'll go down and have a look. 
so here we go heading down so it's all still intact someone just put a roof on top a little bit eerie but uh, quite incredible sorry about the video quality but all the way down here it's all still intact you can see back out this way so all the original work still done looks absolutely amazing just another cool little find on the way back cheers